of a spectacular death and its final moments could unlock some of the biggest secrets of the universe. For a while now, astronomers have been watching Betelgeuse very closely. Why? Because it's a red supergiant and red supergiants are the rock stars of the stellar world. They live fast and go out with a bang, a really, really big bang. We're talking about a supernova explosion. This isn't just a distant possibility. It's a certainty. The only question is when it could happen tomorrow or it could happen a hundred thousand years from now. That uncertainty is part of what makes it so exciting. So what's been happening with Betelgeuse lately? Back in late 2019 and early 2020, the star started acting very strange. It dimmed dramatically, losing more than two-thirds of its usual brightness. The internet went wild with speculation. Was this it? Was Betelgeuse about to go supernova? This event was so significant it got its own name, the Great Dimming. For a moment, the astronomical community held its breath, thinking we might be about to witness one of the greatest cosmic shows in human history. But then, just as mysteriously as it faded, Betelgeuse started to brighten up again. So what happened? Was it a false alarm? Well, thanks to incredible observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope and the Very Large Telescope in Chile, we have a pretty good idea. It turns in that Betelgeuse basically had a massive stellar sneeze. The star ejected a huge cloud of hot gas and dust into space. As this cloud moved away from the star, it cooled down and condensed into a thick veil of dust, which then blocked the light from Betelgeuse, making it appear dimmer from our perspective here on Earth. Imagine a giant cosmic smoke screen. That's essentially what happened. This event was a massive surface mass ejection, far larger than anything our own sun is capable of producing. It was a powerful reminder of the violent and dynamic nature of these aging giants. This great dimming event wasn't just a cool light show. It gave us a treasure trove of data. It was like getting a sneak peek into the final stages of a star's life. By studying how the star dimmed and brightened and analyzing the material it ejected, scientists can refine their models of how stars evolve and die. It's like being a detective, piecing together clues from a cosmic crime. Scene that hasn't even happened yet. Now let's talk about the main event, the supernova. When Betelgeuse finally does explode, it will be an inspiring sight. It will become so bright that it will be visible during the daytime on Earth. For several weeks, it could even be as bright as the full moon, casting shadows at night. Can you imagine looking up at the sky and seeing two moon-like objects? It will completely change our view of the night sky and be an unforgettable event for everyone on the planet. And don't worry, even though Betelgeuse is relatively close to us in cosmic terms about 650 light years away, we are at a perfectly safe distance. We'll get a spectacular front row seat to the light show without any of the dangerous radiation. The explosion will send a shockwave of energy and material hurtling through space. But by the time it reaches us tens of thousands of years later, it will be far too dispersed to cause any harm. But the real secret that Betelgeuse's death could reveal is far more profound. It's all about what happens after the explosion. A supernova is not just an ending. It's a creation event. The incredible energy and pressure in a supernova forge heavy elements, elements that are essential for life as we know it. We're talking about gold, silver, platinum, uranium, and even some of the iron in your blood and the calcium in your bones. All these elements were created in the fiery hearts of dying stars like Betelgeuse. So in a very real sense, we are all made of stardust. The explosion of Betelgeuse will seed a vast region of space with these newly formed elements, providing the raw materials for future generations of stars, planets, and maybe, just maybe, life. Studying the remnants of Betelgeuse's supernova will give us an unprecedented opportunity to understand this process of cosmic recycling. We will be able to directly observe how these heavy elements are created and distributed throughout the galaxy. This is crucial for understanding not just star formation, but also planet formation and the origins of life itself. It's a direct window into our own cosmic origins, but there's another, even more mysterious possibility. What will be left behind after the supernova? For a star of Betelgeuse's size, the most likely outcome is a neutron star. A neutron star is one of the densest objects in the universe. Imagine taking one and a half times the mass of our sun and crushing it down into a sphere just 20 kilometers across. A single teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh billions of tons. These are extreme objects that push the laws of physics to their absolute limits. Observing a brand new neutron star forming from Betelgeuse's remains would be a game changer for astrophysics. It would allow us to test our theories of gravity and matter under conditions that are impossible to replicate on Earth. We could learn more about the internal structure of these bizarre objects and how they behave. However, there's a small but tantalizing chance that something even more exotic could form, a black hole. If Betelgeuse's core is just a little more massive than we currently think, its collapse could be so complete that not even a neutron star could withstand the gravitational force. 
It would collapse indefinitely, creating a black hole. Witnessing the birth of a black hole in our own galactic backyard would be the scientific discovery of a lifetime. It would provide the ultimate test for Einstein's theory of general relativity and open up entirely new avenues of research into the nature of space-time itself. So Betelgeuse is not just a dying star, it's a ticking cosmic clock, a laboratory for extreme physics, and a factory for the building blocks of life, its dramatic dimming. Gave us a preview of its violent end, and its eventual supernova will be a spectacle for the ages. But the great secret it holds is the story of creation, destruction, and renewal that drives the entire universe. It is the story of where we came from and what the future of our galaxy might hold, whether it goes supernova tomorrow or in the distant future. Betelgeuse serves as a powerful reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the cosmos. Every time you look up at Orion's shoulder, remember you are looking at a star on the verge of a magnificent transformation, a final act that will not just light up our sky but also illuminate some of the deepest mysteries of existence. Thanks for joining me on this cosmic journey today. What do you think Betelgeuse will leave behind? A neutron star or a black hole? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you do not miss our next deep dive into the wonders of the universe. See you next time.